Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Infinity Wars. My name's Ramon, and you're watching RPG Sunday. On the last part, we went over the Genesis faction, or my Genesis deck. Uh, and in this part, uh, we're going to do uh, Sleepers, my, my Exiled Sleepers deck. Um, this, again, like I said in the last part, this is a mixture of uh, robot zombies and demons. So we're going to be fighting... Uh, uh, the, the, our opponent is Genesis in this one instead of a descendant of dragons. Um, so to start off here, since we have a wealthy noble, uh, if you have one of these in your hand, always play it. Just just always because it it it, uh, it 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 gives you an, an extra resource. So that's a, a that's a good opening move. So instead of next turn having two, next turn we'll have three, and that's always nice. Um, so this way we can play. Uh, one of the key cards in this uh, strategy, which is the Endless Horde. What the Endless Horde do is for every uh, other Endless Horde in your graveyard, uh, the, the, uh, this, this one gets a plus one, plus one. Um, and this works well with this card, the Ritual Master, because if I use his ability, he gets exhaust. I just card one card in my hand at random, and everything I control gets a plus one, plus one. So it not only does it beef it up, but it has a chance of discarding this card into the graveyard. Um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but uh, there are, this is an unlimited card. Um, unlimited cards, uh, like it says in their name, you can have an unlimited amount of them in your deck. So I actually have, I think, 19 of these guys in my deck. Um, and in my Genesis deck, I have 16 drones because they're 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 uh, unlimited cards are going to be like your key cards in your deck. Um, so I'm going to go and end my turn this this time. Got another Endless Horde. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this guy into the Assault Zone. Play this card, fill the graves. Uh, what this card does, let me show you, is it takes the top five cards of your deck and they're placed into the graveyard. So there's a reason why I have 19 Endless Hordes in my, in my deck. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the Ritual Master's ability to discard one of the cards in my hand. I hope I'm not going to discard this one. We're going to knock on wood uh, because this is, is able to just instantly kill a card in the combat zone. I hope it's one of these guys because that would be most useful. Um, so let's, let's, see what, let's see how it plays out. So I'll fill the graves. It gives him a plus two. Okay, cool. Put another Endless Horde. It wasn't... wasn't uh, we didn't get lose eaten by zombies. I'm um, gonna play another in the sword. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. I we'll want one of these in our hand. Well, no, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll put, put him down. We can use Ritual Master's ability once more. And for this deck, you, you're gonna want to try. Oh, that's perfect. You're gonna want to try and use Ritual Master's ability every turn. Um, now, what just happened is I discarded. Uh, the demonic disciple that has an exile thing, so uh, what, or an exile ability. What that, what happens is when that gets discarded out of your hand, you're able to play, uh, play it again at the beginning of your next turn for one cost. Um, and the demonic disciple's ability, when it gets exiled, it, uh, it comes back as a. Let me see. It comes back as a six-six demon. So next turn it'll turn into a six-six demon. Um, since they're not really attacking, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they don't have any cards. Um, I don't know. But um, maybe they just don't have any cards. Right, so we're going to use Ritual Master's ability once more. Um, there we go. Ritual Master's ability. That's fine. Hit him for 19. So now, as you can see, this is now a 7-7 seven, seven, uh, demon character. So we're just going to move into the assault zone. Uh, also, I f failed to mention these guys, zombie scavengers in the, in the command zone. Because uh, whenever an undead character you control dies, zombie scavenger gets plus 2, plus 2. So basically, when uh, if, let's just say, one of these guys dies, uh, both these guys get a plus 2 just for being in the command zone. Which is nice. Um, so... As that's always a good thing to have. Uh, I'm not going to use Ritual Master's ability this turn, just because I don't want to get rid of this card, because I'm probably going to need it on this guy. So, uh, I'm going to end the turn just like that. That's what I thought. He's not going to hit me. Because he has flying, so you can't block him normally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Eaten by Zombies to kill him. And what Eaten by Zombies does is it kills him, 
and then I get to use him uh, if, if he's in my graveyard by the end of the next turn. Uh, he, I, he gets he gets raised from the graveyard in my uh, under my control. So like I eat him and infect him. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, so we're gonna use Ritual Master's ability again because we're like a shoe in for this. Oh, he's untouchable. Had to good. Uh, that was good. So that doesn't do anything. Oh well. I'll still. He, I still win. You know. <laughs> you know, because I'm I'm just the best player ever. I'm killing bots every day, every day. Smoke bots every day. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys here just to kind of. Make sure I win. Uh, one, one thing I didn't mention is you want to keep your stronger. It, it, it doesn't. Ma it, it doesn't make much sense at first. We want to keep your stronger units at the uh, at the uh, basically towards the back of your assault zone, just because if they put uh, something in their defense zone, it'll engage uh, these uh, these cards closer to this side first. So it'll block the weaker attacks, and then uh, the stronger attacks will still hit. So Ritual Master, discard the other Ritual Master, don't really care. Jellify, whatever. They're gonna try to hit me as hard as they possibly can. I hit him for 46, he hits me for 22, which is actually a pretty good. Hit. Wasn't enough, wasn't enough, fellas. Now it's over. So that was probably a quick little episode. Uh, but uh, that'll do it for uh, sleepers. So uh, I guess next time on Let's Play Infinity Wars, we'll be doing uh, a another deck with Genesis in it, uh, but it also has some descendants of dragons. So you'll be seeing a little bit of that clan too, or faction too. So uh, tune in next time for the other the next RPG Sundays, because I'm the best Let's Player ever. See you guys next time.